What's up everybody? So given the unique nature of our times, I'm trying to push out more videos about getting your teletherapy practice set up, and today I'm going to focus on setting up Doxy. Yep, I'm trying it out for the first time today. I've never used it before. All I've done is create a login and I did do a test round with my husband just to make sure that it worked. After reaching out to you all on Instagram, Doxy was the most popular platform that you all use for your teletherapy services. So I thought it would be helpful to give it a try, show you how it works, and also show you how to make it HIPAA secure. It's super easy, but a very important step not to be skipped. Also, just to be clear, this video is definitely not sponsored by Doxy. It's just an option that I wanted to try out. So let's see what happens. All right, so I've already created a login for Doxy. When you first sign up for Doxy, it takes you to this dashboard. And one thing I really like about it is there is this waiting room. And if you have a client who clicks on the waiting room link, they will show up in your queue over here. And then you can go ahead and find them in your waiting room and click on them basically when you're ready. One thing I really love so far about Doxy is it doesn't require an app or any special software. Um, on my end, all I have to do is create my own login and set it up so that it's HIPAA secure. On your client's end, all they need is the link to your waiting room so they don't have to get any type of login, any type of app. When they click on the link for the waiting room, Doxy will ask them to check in and there's a box where they're invited to type in their name, but they don't have to actually type in their real name or they could just use their first name or some type of nickname um, if they're concerned about security. But Doxy is HIPAA secure and we're gonna set it up to be HIPAA secure today because I haven't done that yet. So here we go. We're gonna go into account settings and you can see right there we have the BAA option. That stands for Business Associates Agreement. In my previous videos all about HIPAA secure platforms, um, I talk about what the BAA is and it's required for any software in order for it to be HIPAA secure. You need to sign a BAA. Okay, so there's just a few pieces of information to fill in. Let me go grab my NPI real quick because I do not have that memorized. Okay, your position or title next. I am gonna put my personal name. Okay, that was easy. Let's see what happens. Generate BAA. You may know, I think that was it. Uh, okay. I think, wow, just like that, it generated a whole BAA. I think I'm HIPAA secure now. So let's get the rest of this set up because I think there's some other aspects I might like to change. Oh yeah, let's see, personal info. What? How did it know what my profile picture is? Uh, oh, that's interesting. There's an option to set up a room passcode. So Doxy is completely free and you can use the free version in order to be HIPAA secure. That's what I have right now. But if you want the video quality to be higher than their low resolution quality, you do need to pay for an upgrade. I'm gonna try the low resolution tonight and see how it goes. I'll report back to you later. Yep, they don't even ask for your credit card if you have the free version, that's great. The other aspect that you don't have access to change in the free version is if you go to the waiting room, you're not able to edit what it looks like for your client, but here it says, welcome, I will start the video call in a moment, and that's more than sufficient for me, at least today. Well. My first client is at 6.30 and it's 6.20. So I have two clients back to back I'm gonna be meeting with via Doxy and I'll report back to you at the end of the night how things went. One thing that I am really curious about and I'm a little nervous about is because of the nature of all the events that have been happening, I've heard that Doxy has been a little bit slow lately. So we'll see how it goes. Two hours later. All right, well, we did it. It's two hours later. I got this cold sore that I don't think was there. So I really enjoy Doxy overall, but full disclosure, it only worked with one out of two of the clients that I just saw, even though we were both scheduled to use Doxy. Now to be fair, for the client that it didn't work for, they were trying to connect via their phone through their phone's browser and their phone's browser didn't have access to their camera. 
and so they weren't able to check into the doxy waiting room. So as a takeaway from this error, I am going to now let all clients know before the first time that we meet via doxy to go ahead and check into the waiting room well in advance of our first appointment to go ahead and log in, make sure the camera works, the Wi-Fi works and all of that so that when it's the time of our appointment, we aren't spending the first five, 10 or 15 minutes figuring out how to log in. Also, just so you know, I tested it out on myself and you should be able to check in on your phone, whether it be as the provider or the client. So it is an option to use the phone if you want. And for the second client that I met with, there weren't any issues. They got to check in right on time. They showed up in the little queue and we had zero connectivity issues throughout the call, no lagging, no issues. And I've always had issues with different video software with a lag. So um, good job, Doxy. And maybe also good job, my internet and my client's internet. That's probably most responsible for it, but Doxy was not a hold up. So overall, I'd really say it was a win. I just need to incorporate those new instructions to all my clients in order to avoid the technical error that happened. If you're curious, I ended up meeting with that client over the phone instead of through video, which, you know, is a bummer, but we were still able to meet and that's what matters. So I think I'm gonna keep using Doxy going forward for teletherapy and I'm gonna keep using the free version as long as it still works for me. If you're using a paid version of Doxy, leave a comment below and let me know what features of the paid version sold you on it and made it worth paying some money when they have this really awesome free version available. Real talk for a second. If you're using a non-HIPAA secure platform for teletherapy, you have no excuses now because I've heard people say that everything else is too expensive and too hard to use. This is easy peasy and it's free. So if you're using FaceTime, Skype, or whatever else is out there that's not HIPAA secure, it's time to switch. I'm just saying. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're exploring teletherapy options that are HIPAA secure and maybe also easy on the wallet. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. Today's video is brought to you by TherapyNotes.com. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing so that you can spend more time with your clients and less time on back office paperwork. Click the link in the description of this video to get two months to try it for free with no commitment.